Combustion based, right? So you're talking about using um, your method. Is there any byproduct of like you know like what's being emitted using your technique as opposed to using what you use? What we're doing right now is using water uh, in addition to gasoline. Okay. Uh, I'm not telling you the whole car runs on water. That was the initial goal, but we figured okay, let's let's hone it in and let's make a difference now. Mm -hmm. It is much simpler to show people how to simply double their gas mileage by using this system. So wait, it's gasoline and water mixed together? Yeah, right. Is there any other so it's, it's high totally system? the, the, oh, okay, so it's totally like what they say not to do, like put water in the gas tank? No, we don't put water in the gas tank. Right. Okay. That's we what actually, I think some gas stations We have a do. separate canister of water. It has a hydrogen generator inside that, and what it does is breaks the water down at a molecular level rises to the top of the canister, a hose takes it to the manifold that has suction to it, so you're building a poor man's fuel injection system that puts pure hydrogen and pure oxygen mm -hmm. into your manifold where it mixes with the gasoline. I love that. The pure oxygen allows the gasoline to burn more efficiently, the pure hydrogen displaces the gasoline, so the more gas I create in the canister, the less gasoline is required in there. All right, what's your favorite TV show? Lost in space. All right, that yeah. works. <laughs> that works. That, that totally works. Do you have a degree in physics or something? Uh, absolutely not. I just you happen to you just have a natural, natural, brilliant. I won't even go that far. All right, skeleton I, in your closet. That's what I need to hear right now. A skeleton in my closet. Yes. Uh, I should have thought about this more during the uh, Yeah, you could have, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Just what's jolting you right now? Something that probably your mother doesn't know about. Some kind of experience that you had at the time was devastating, but now it has become so important to where you are today. A beautiful mistake. A beautiful mistake. Yeah. A, a beautiful mistake that led me to where I am here today. I'm yeah. not sure if it's really the skeleton. Okay, the closet, that works. But maybe we can get to that. The beautiful mistake was actually installing the first system in the car. Okay. It didn't work. It okay. never worked. You couldn't get it to work. Nobody else could get it to work. But it inspired all of the original manufacturers, competitors to call up and say, this is why his doesn't work. This is why ours does. And I did that with 10 different people, took notes. And then when I got home, simply by applying all the notes, I got the 58% increase, which is better than anybody else's. So I'm sorry if that's... Would you like a pecan cookie on that? Do you have a patent on your stuff? Uh, I do not have a patent. I have no intention of getting a patent. My end run is really more of creating an international network of installers because the first thing that happens when you say, hey, I can make the car work on nothing but water or even a 100% uh, increase on water is you become a target. So you either end up in jail, you get killed, um, or you get or a just, lot of money from or a big just company. The, that they or the boring, you out. the boring part is they don't buy you out. They simply say, "Okay, you six guys over there in the corner, take this patent, and you need to make 14 changes to it. Hand it off to the legal department. We're going to file our own patent." And one of the 14 changes was we changed it from red to blue. Ridiculous things like that. They then patent it, and they go to market with much more money than I have. The smarter idea is to just develop it, inspire it, let them run with it as a manufacturer, step back and go, developed it, gave it away to the world. It was the right thing to do. You can trust me to install it in the car. 
Excellent. Well, we'd love to talk more, but we are out of time. And thank you so much for visiting. Do you have a website, or how do people find you? BiosWaterCon.com. Sounds great. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.